Besties, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Serrano. In today's video, we're gonna be covering the Moto G Power Unlocked model. And um, we're gonna be taking a look at six reasons to choose to use the G Moto G Power 2021 and 2022 because it's still a pretty solid device overall and it's got a lot of cool features that I definitely want to talk about. But if it's your very first time to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're new, um, consider subscribing. I encourage you to get notified for more videos just like this because we talk about budget technology and uh, smart watches, headphones, things of that nature. But I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you get notified, hit the bell. But if you're already a part of the crew, now the first reason you would choose to use the moto g power in 2021 i mean the moto g power 2021 and 2022 is because you know you can get this for depending on what carrier you go on I actually have the tempered glass on this th this one right now, so that's why it looks like that. But it's got you know a tempered glass on here just to protect it. So if I drop it face down, it's not gonna break the glass. It's just gonna hit the tempered glass part. So that's why I have that on here. But I just updated it, and I'm gonna get into the six reasons you should choose to use this device. But the first reason is gonna be the 5,000 milliamp hour battery in here. So it does give it some decent weight on here when you feel the weight of this device it actually feels really good in the hand it has a nice feel to it when you hold on to it with one hand so i definitely like the form factor and everything like that like when i'm holding it like right now it does have that vibrate when you put it face down because you can get the do not disturb so it won't make any sounds when it's on face down i really like that part but you get that 5000 milliamp hour battery on here now you can get this from like Boost for like $59 or maybe Metro by T-Mobile for like $29 depending if you pour it in or something or like even Cricut, right? But if you get the unlock model, I'll make sure I leave the cheapest link down below in the comment in the description section because this is going to be about $180 right now, which is a really solid deal. Actually a steal for the price if you're just looking for a phone with a lot of power, like I said um prior with the 5000 milliamp hour battery and then the actual price for 179.99 now the third reason i would choose to use the moto g power is design right it's gonna have the type c um with the with the microphone on the bottom you do get the speaker down below and um it's gonna have a side mounted fingerprint sensor which is actually gonna be pretty solid when it comes to the unlocking capability because you could just put it there, you could just tap it. And every single time you tap it, you're going to feel a, a vibration. And it feels real solid when you hit that. You could you feel the vibration every single time. So it has the really nice haptics to it. The buttons don't feel cheap. They actually feel really good when it comes to the build quality on here. It doesn't have like, it has a decent click sound to it. So it does feel like you're, um, it does have some quality to it. The buttons don't feel flimsy or anything like that. And then we do have a microphone up top with a, um, let me just zoom this in, a headphone jack up top. And you can see the cameras right here, which I'll get into probably in, the, in a little bit later. So make sure you stay locked into the end of the video. And if you're still here right now, just say, I'm um, still here in the comment section down below. But like I said before, the camera just looks, it just looks really solid. Has a nice design to it. Really nice design language on this guy. Um, and then this plastic feels like metal around here, but it's probably just plastic, but it's got a really nice feel to it and a nice weight to it. So it definitely feels sturdy when you have it in the hand and everything like that. Now, the fourth reason I would choose to use the Moto G Power 2021 and 2022 is because it's going to have a 48 megapixel camera on the rear, which is going to be coupled with a few other cameras, the 8 megapixel around front as well. But, you know, the hardware in here is going to be really solid along with the cameras that we're going to get yet. They, it comes with a macro camera and I'll show you the, how the sensor of the macro camera looks right now and the quality to it. Um, 
so this is the front facing camera and you can see right here we are getting an update to the latest version for new features and bugs so right here it says right here update i'm going to go ahead and hit that option you could go right here into the play store and you can see that it's downloading the new camera update right here so when it's finished downloading it's going to say reload so you just go ahead hit that option then it says it's installing on the bottom so you just wait for the phone to install the new updated software for the cameras but the cameras are going to be pretty solid because they do kind of get better with these updates and um, i think that's pretty cool because not only that you're going to be able to get a two megapixel portrait and a two megapixel macro camera lens so um right here you can see the features that you would get on here with the flash the timer active photos which makes it move and then face beauty modes right here then if you flip it right here you can see we get the video option and for the video you, you can see right here the quality it has right here so it has the settings stabilization mode and it does tell you right here you have a 12 megapixel quad 12 megapixel quad on there so i think it's like you know they they do the pixel binning and then you can see right here we have your different gestures and stuff like that and then down here you can see we get gestures for the camera so just a lot of really cool features and then if i flip it around that's when i'm going to able to see the night vision and I'm, I'm able to see the cinematograph the cinema graph and then i'm going to see the panorama spot color cutout live filter pro group selfie slow motion time lapse ar stickers which is really fun to play around with because when you're in um ar stickers you could actually put um like these guys like in the shot which is really crazy so let me show you what i'm talking about So like I could put this guy like right here and have him walk around like in real time or whatever. And then you take the shot. So it's, cr it's pretty crazy because you could have like movies like that, which is pretty cool. So it definitely kind of adds a nice effect to it. And um, I just really like the cameras on here when it comes to the overall quality. So you can see we got a lot of features on here. We got portrait mode. If you hit this option, it's going to give you the different aspect ratio. And for the video, you can get just 1080 30 right here, but it will give you um, the different options 30 60 as well. And then you could put this one, this guy right here, which is the um, macro camera. So just a lot of a lot of rich features when it comes to the camera mode on here another thing is that you will be able to get eight times zoom on the video mode as well as on the photo so if you zoom in you're going to get that eight times zoom and it does look pretty decent it doesn't look too bad when i'm looking at that object right there flash on off or auto and then you can switch the portrait really easy so just a lot of cool features and then they also do have um you know the the portrait mode like i said before and um this macro mode right here where you can get real close up and um you know just take take really close up shots of things now the fifth reason that you would choose to use the moto g pure i'm sorry the moto g power in 2022 is going to be the software update and I just got updated this guy on the, um, from to the January and then to the February. So now I have the, it says I have the latest one on right now. So this is the latest one right now. So it's probably gonna get March soon and then it'll probably get a lot more security updates, but just not Android 12. So I kind of wanted to make mention of that, that it probably won't get Android 12, which kind of sucks, but um this one is the is looks like this is the latest uh update right here which is the february first security patch on here and another reason which is like the sixth reason 
is like display size is really good for playing games like PUBG on here because you get a really large screen to look at and you get this gaming mode right here that you can mess around with and so it's customizable it has a gyroscope compass accelerometer um, light sensor fingerprint sensor now as far as the display we do get 720 by 1600 HD plus punch hole notch on the on the left bottom corner so this is the 32 gigabytes of gigabytes of ROM on this guy and there is a version with the 64 as well so you can get different variants of this phone so that thought that was pretty cool but we also are rocking the snapdragon 662 on this guy with the 11 nanometer processing chip um clocked in at two gigahertz frequency so it's going to be pretty solid uh we also do have the Adreno 610 uh, under the hood as well. So that, that's pretty cool. Smooth graphics with high gameplay. So you will get a pretty decent overall experience. It does feel pretty, really smooth actually. Um, and you, you will be able to get first blood on here. So I definitely think that's pretty cool. But it just has a really nice smooth feel to it when I'm moving around. But like I said before, you're gonna get really good gameplay out of this, even with the 32 gigabyte model, a large battery, a really great price, good this great design on on this budget device, with um, a, a pretty decent camera, as well as security updates and a beautiful display for like browsing the web and social media and even doing some shopping. You know, on here you could you could even use it in landscape mode or portrait. Which is another cool thing is because, you know, it does have that option to do that. So I thought that's pretty cool. It's like a, a mini tablet in your hand almost. But let me, let me know what you guys think about the Moto G Power 2021 and 2022. And do you still think it's a pretty solid device right now? And if so, let me know down below what you guys think about it. And I'm going to check you guys later. I'll get right back with you later, crew. Peace.